Some of our area politicians are taking time to reflect on the year that was. We asked them to share their professional highlight of 2022. Their answers include being elected to serve, holding their political opposition to account, and awarding government money to worthwhile projects. And one said he'll remember this year not for a personal political highlight, but for a major international story that continues to affect the world as a whole. Over $50 million uh, on projects as diverse as uh, a learning centre for Matawa, the ongoing work on the art gallery, and in the region, uh, new schools and First Nations like Bitagong. Um, there are so many great things happening in mining, for example, the approval of the mine uh, in near Marathon with Bitagong and Marathon working so closely together, and of course the development in Greenstone. These are things that the community has been working on for a very long time. It's my job as a Member of Parliament to help them achieve those goals, and we've had a bumper year of successes. Gaining the confidence of the people in Thunder Bay out of Kokan on June 2nd. The opportunity to be able to serve this great riding is a, it's a huge honour for me. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously and I'm looking forward to doing the work that uh, people of Thunder Bay out of Kokan have entrusted me to do. Well, clearly uh, for me, I was fortunate enough to be re-elected as mayor with uh, uh, the kind of confidence that you can go into the job. Seeing Bill 28 rescinded. Bill 28 was uh, threatened charter rights and threatened to bring in the notwithstanding clause against workers in, in contract negotiations. So we uh, were kicked out of the legislature uh, in order to protest and it really led to many people rising up really against that bill and the government was forced to rescind it. So. I think that's a very big moment for labor across the province and certainly for us. I think the invasion of Ukraine, th because it's a, f a fundamental threat to the global legal order. We've had global peace, relative global peace for 75 years since the Second World War. And now we have a member of the Security Council fragrantly breaking the most basic and fundamental rules of international law, which is territorial integrity and the prohibition on attacking another state. 